So 11.3 trig identities, in this section we are going to um, use our identities that we know to rewrite the questions in such a way that we are able to use the standard result. So the fact that um, sec squared integrates to tan x, that's one of them, cosec to minus cot, and then you've got sec x tan x, that will go to sec x, and then obviously I had uh, my, you've got cosec x cot, that will go to minus sec. So you've got more of these, which you should be looking at uh, while doing those questions till you get familiar with those results and you're confident you can use them and quote them at any moment. So over here, you need to learn that trick. If it's tan squared, tan squared can be replaced with sec squared by using the identity one plus tan squared x is equal to sec squared x. So that gives me tan squared x is equal to sec squared x minus one. So we're going to have the modulus, uh, so the integral of sec squared x minus 1. So now I can use uh, the standard results, sec squared integrates to tan x, and then 1 goes to x plus c. There you go. Okay, in this question here, another trick, so learn the tricks for integrating tan squared, cot squared, sine squared, and cos squared. To, to integrate sine squared, it's the same trick as integrating cos squared. You have to find the identity that will you will be able to replace this sine squared um, with, with a function that you can then integrate. And that function is in this instance cos 2x. We are going to use the double angle formula. So cos 2x is equal to 1 minus 2 sine squared x obviously you've got also 2 cos squared minus 1 what we can do from these is to make sine squared the subject so it's 1 minus cos 2x divided by 2 so you've got a half minus a half cos 2x so replace this function with a half minus a half cos 2x integrate and then put the limits into the function so it goes to a half of x and then cos integrates to sine but then you need to divide by that too so it's minus a quarter sine 2x okay let's pop the limits pi over 12 and pi over 8 so you're going to have a half times pi over 8 minus a quarter and then sine 2 times pi over 8 minus let's put pi over 12 so it's a half times pi over 12 minus a quarter sine 2 times pi over 12 So altogether we've got uh, 1 16th minus 1 24th, so that should give me, um, bring it to the common denominator, that's going to be uh, 4, if you times it by 3 that will be 24, so that's going to be 3 here and over here too, so it's going to be we can do it on the calculator, pi over 24. And then over here we've got minus a quarter sine, and this will go to pi over 4, so it's minus a quarter. You can pop it in the calculator in that state, root 2 over 2. Okay, and this one here will be adding, because I've already incorporated this one, a quarter times, and sine pi over 6 is a half. There you go. So the overall answer is going to be pi over 
24 I've got. Might be not right. 